assalamu alaikum hello everyone uh, this tutorial is about uh, using the pymol that is pymol that is used for protein structure visualization tool to uh, view your structure in different angles to make publication quality pictures for your assignments or any other uh, re uh, reason so uh, let's start that from the beginning that how we install the pymol and then how we use it for our research purposes so first of all uh, we need two main things no, number one is that first you have to go to uh, google let's go and download the pymol and for pymol uh, there are two things which are required number one is the registration uh, i have done these all things uh, first so that i do not face any problems so first of all you need to register yourself you have to put all your details here and the email address so that they send you the registration id and which will be sent to you via email like this and you can just click the download option from that registration email sent to you by pymol and after downloading you just have to put your uh, for downloading you have to put your username and id and uh, the uh, then the password and then you'll click the sign in right when you click the sign in option they'll give you the uh, pymol installer and license file so do you have uh, downloaded the license file and now you have downloaded the pymol so it will take a bit of time the size file size is very big uh, around 300 mb so i've already downloaded it and installed it so you can see here the, at the left corner that it's now downloading so i've just paused it because i have the file and i have installed it and uh, i just click the pymol software here you can see that uh, i am just clicking the pymol and uh, yeah so now you can see here that uh, it's installing the software which i've already downloaded and uh, when you uh, it's the way to install right so i when i am clicking next it's saying that you have already installed it so that's why i am just exiting the setup so this is the process you have to follow and uh, when you install it after that uh, one more thing is important that you may also need the registration which is already in your uh, in your documents which is downloaded so you just have to get that uh, uh, link registration link and this will uh, uh, you, you uh, this will start your pymol to work and then that will be licensed so this is the first over all the graphical view of the pymol and this will uh, uh, now we will go and uh, we will discuss and uh, the way we can use this pymol so first of all we need some protein structures and uh, for protein structures uh, we are using the swiss model website uh, here you can find all the pdb pdb uh, structures of the proteins uh, one way is to use swiss model another way to download the pdb structures is you know that uh, you can use the protein data bank that is rcsb.org you can go there and also download but here we are looking for swiss model uh, protein structures there are many uh, protein structures available here uh, let's see i uh, let's find one for our uh, this tutorial uh, for that you can go on the like you can go on the documentations and you can check the examples and all the details here of the uh, protein structures and uh, how they are mentioned in swiss model how you can view that structures but we need the pdb structure to be viewed using pymol so uh, let's say from where i can download the uh, the structure here mm -hmm. Let's say uh, repository from repository no so so these are the details you want to if you want to uh, see the or how everything is stored in a swiss model so i just uh, go and look for the repository and and uh, just uh, download it from the library let's say for instance and this is the link from where we can download 
one structure and uh, I want to download one protein uh, I just click here now you can see that this is the protein IDs as, as 6 xc.1 so here you can see that the PDB coordinates are available here if I just click it it will download the now in this way you can download from the list uh, but if you uh, know the uh, protein data bank ID and you want to download that protein data bank for instance uh, here I want to download a 1RGS uh, using this ID and when I click it this is the regulatory subunit of camp dependent protein kinase now I want to download this one so I just down, uh, click the uh, PDB uh, format and it's now downloaded here you can see now I want to there are two ways to uh, uh, get the protein structure one is from the available uh, protein structures for example here I have already downloaded these so let's say I want to uh, get the model underscore zero one zero so this is the way from file you can select the protein structure one other way is if you want to uh, download the or fetch the protein ID that we downloaded one RGS we just write the fetch one RGS and here you can see that the now I have also fetched using uh, I have also get the structure using the fetch command so there are two ways now there are so many things we can do on this protein structure for example now I want to color it red I just write color red and whole structure is now uh, showing the red color other things uh, you can do here for instance is uh, uh, for instance you want to change the background and uh, here the background is actually uh, white so I want to make it white so let's say that BG uh, underscore color and white and the whole color gets white the background is now white so now but I don't like the white color so I just get it back black color so now you can see that the color is black right and uh, there are other things as well what you can do here are let's say uh, I want to what you want to do here yeah let's say here I want to go to the model protein and uh, I want to change its you know representation for example in the uh, you can say origin I want to go to the preset and I just want to show the ligands for instance right I just click the ligands and here you can see that the whole and uh, the ligands are now highlighted and you can see that the ligands and you can uh, see view the structure in 3d format and you can just uh, drag and uh, change this format or you just click this orient which I just recently clicked and that will uh, show the structure straight in uh, in the in the middle of the pymol view viewer there are so many other options like for instance you click the technical and uh, you know you can see that the you can also uh, uh, view in this technical format and now you want to show the uh, ribbons uh, here you can see that when I click the ribbon now it's also showing the ribbons for instance here you can say that the structure that both the structures the red and the this colorful structure both are now showing the ribbons and uh, and uh, for other things like so you want to hide the ribbons you just write the ribbons and the hide ribbons and the ribbons are gone and there are other ways as well to view the uh, structure for example here you can see that you want to see the lines you just uh, hide the, uh, you want to hide the lines you just hide lines or you want to show the lines you can show the lines. so there are different ways 
Now, if you want to, I just clicked S that is for sequence. Now, if you want, you want to see the sequence of both the model protein and the one RGS protein, I've uh, selected, for instance, from 36 amino acid to 101 amino acid. And now, using this sequence, I want to color this uh, particular uh, residues from 36 to 101 uh, uh, let's suppose there's one limon lemon this is one color and i write color lemon comma resi that obviously residues and from 36 to 101 so it will change the those colors from uh, uh you can say from uh, into lemon color that is one format and uh, for and I'll, now I want to show the ribbons, so I can just show ribbon, and it will ch view, uh, show us a different view of the protein structure. Well, so there are so many ways you can visualize the structure, and uh, you can play around with the whole structure. And uh, like uh, like here, you can see now it's 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 the dot view of the structure. So this will give you so many uh, different angles to view your protein now this ray command actually is now you could say that the command is loading if you want to uh, make the quality of the your image a lot better compared to how you are actually viewing it you just write the ray ray and it will uh, take a bit of time to load and after loading it will show you that this now the the figure quality or the structure quality of the uh, uh, the image is better just wait and see how how it goes uh, it's loading 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 <laughs> and just wait for a couple of more seconds if you have patience if don't I cannot do anything see um, now three two one yeah let's go now here you can see that uh, it's actually gives you a better quality image uh, compared to the previous images you are viewing and uh, so that's how you can play there are so many other options as well you can see that there are a number of options list of options you can uh, do and view the structure you can uh, turn the structure you can twist the structure you can m move in all 3d directions and you want to highlight some protein sequences amino acid sequences and and so on so after doing all what you want to do you just have to save that session in the pymol uh, format that is pse or pze or pse uh, dot gz that is the zip format and uh, anyway and in any way you want to save so I think now it's um, done here. So let's see. Uh, let's meet with any uh, from with any new tutorial in our next class. Thank you.